welcome to another episode of The Now Show. On today's episode, I'm going to be having an interesting conversation with this young entrepreneur. <laughs> <laughs> so Benga Ayo Dada is my yeah. guest, otherwise known as Benga Art Smith. Art Smith, you know. <laughs> anyway, this episode, the title is Made to Design. And you'll see in the minutes why we call it Made to Design. Benga. Thank you for doing this with us and welcome Good to, to be show. here. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you know, I said we're going to be having an interesting conversation. You know, one thing I like about um, young people now is that they're doing things out of the ordinary, you yeah. know, not what is expected, as it were. You know, we had a way of doing it before, you know, in yeah. that time we go to school, we read the course that our parents wanted us to read, and, then and we came married. out and... <laughs> get by start a family <laughs> and we walk along the line yeah. of that us we get married we start a family but you guys are doing phenomenal things you know real mind blowing and you are one of those people so Thank which good. is why i said let's talk to you <laughs> Binga, you are in the business of jewelry yeah. wow accessory design accessory design <laughs> and you know it just blows my mind because who would think that um, when your parents were sending you to university, you were going to come out and tell them that <laughs> <laughs> this is what you want to do? So tell us, what, what is the driving force? What made you decide this is what you wanted to do? Well, growing up, I've always been the very artistic type, uh, okay. you know, so it wasn't, it wasn't new to them. It wasn't a surprise, you know, they, okay. they expected it. I guess they expected mm. it. They didn't know the particular profession within the, the uh, field of oh, arts okay. that I was going to pick, but they knew eventually growing up, they thought I was going to be a performer, <laughs> probably <laughs> an actor. So they were open. Mm. I have, I, I, I don't have a typical African parents. They're very open-minded. Okay. They okay. support you mm -hmm. as long as uh, you prove to them that you have the discipline, you are, uh, you know what you're doing. So okay. I, I, this might sound like I'm bragging, but right from a very young age, I always knew what I wanted. Brown, I, brown, <laughs> brown, brown, brown. <laughs> I always went for it. So mm -hmm. <clears throat> growing up, I was on shows like uh, Scrap Palace with Uncle A, you know, gifted children okay. come together. We used to make a lot of uh, stuff from uh, calendars from uh, paper mache okay. and all of that. So okay. th this was in the 90s, yeah. So you had been identified as a gifted child yeah. way back then. Yes, yeah, so, and then wow. interest, interestingly, I was a brilliant uh, child in school, but mm -hmm. before you could uh, be recognized for academic excellence, mm -hmm. you have to be really exceptional. Okay. So I was a brilliant student, I had good grades and all, but mm -hmm. I just wasn't in the A class. My immediate older brother were in school together, okay. it was always an award winner okay. and it was always be we found nobody completely graduated nobody competed that sport with him okay. best in sciences best in mathematics you know okay. i on the other hand i was excelling in i was excelling in arts and they had no issue with it okay. you know they supported me i was in the choir singing you didn't feel, you didn't feel funny you know this thing with sibling rivalry that one seems you know, to be I, very very well and the other one you know it's just like you said <laughs> you know, last week Saturday was the uh, sixth uh, anniversary of my father's passing and, you know, writing about that, I said, you know what, I really believe that my friend should have co-authored a book on parenting, especially wow. for Nigerian parents because wow. they did fantastic. I, you know, I don't know. I don't Usually, know. Usually, <laughs> there's always one thing or the other no. that our children feel that. We haven't done right. I no, I, I, I no think. No matter how hard we try. I think they did very well. Okay. They did fantastic. Wow. You know, I mean, as you grow, as you become an adult, as mm -hmm. you become a parent, you you, you appreciate the sacrifices. I've always. I think, I think that's it. Yeah, I've always appreciated them and also. Mm -hmm. They, there was no room for sibling sibling rivalry. Okay. After our father's passing, we said, okay, who is our father's favorite? We could guess, but it wasn't an issue for okay. us. You okay. know, the one that was most like my father in terms mm -hmm. of cleanliness, being prim and proper mm -hmm. and all, we knew, but it wasn't an issue because he treated us as equals. He never made it known. So okay. then it, it, it were made to feel special. It okay. made me feel special, you know, when I was going to perform, my parents would make a duty for, 
either the two of them or one of them mm. to be there to mm. cheer me on. I have okay. I have a very great support system in my family uh, mm. members. I remember my older sister then she was a servant, so she was one of the youth core uh, members. She was serving as a teacher then. Mm. She, she funny enough she was uh, a, a, an ex student of the school. So there was a day that I was singing. Uh, I think it was a song, I can't remember the song now, but I was singing and then it was a gospel song. I was, I'd always been cut out to be different, you know. Okay. It's cool, then it was cool to sing uh, the Whitney Austin mm -hmm. and uh, what have you, mm -hmm. Luther Vandross. But I went there and I sang gospel music. Okay. So I caught them by surprise <laughs> and all. You know, from nowhere, she just, I just heard her say, I know it was a two school and all. Yes. From nowhere, she said, eh, hey, Charlotte, whoa. I was like, oh my <laughs> God. <laughs> I was, I was, yes. you, know, uh, you know, I was really surprised. So they always encouraged me. Mm -hmm. And the only, the only subject I feel was maths. Okay. But my father never made me feel bad about it. Like, look, mm -hmm. your brother is always like, in, in, in sciences, what's your problem? Mm -hmm. blah, 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 blah. It, it got me less in teachers wow. for maths. One in school, one after school. <laughs> And still, I failed consistently. Mm -hmm. And other subjects, it was either an A or a B. So, mm -hmm. like I said, I was brilliant, but not ex because for you to be exceptional, you have to excel in all of, all the, of subjects. the subjects. You know, that was it then. Mm -hmm. There was no second best. It was always overall best. I think mm -hmm. it was after I left, they started the second best and uh, what Just have to you. Make some children feel okay. So, I remember when I had my first C. C6, because there was C, is it C3? I can't remember now. C4, okay. C6, C6. C4, 5, 6. Yeah. Yes. It was mm -hmm. a C6, not even a strong C. In March, <laughs> my father popped champagne. We celebrated. Seriously? Wow. So that's the kind of friend that I, I had. So mm. it, wasn't, it wasn't shocking for them. Yeah, you're, you're, you're teaching us lessons <laughs> in parenting and parenting, that's you know, where, I, yes. I, mm. I look at us today, I mean, my brother can brag that being Artsmith is my brother. I can yes. also brag about him, like mm. I have a brother who is very brilliant, mm -hmm. is, a, is a consultant if yes. you need, you know, uh, project management is there, you know. Unlike if I had been made to feel miserable and I became nothing in life. Mm. My father forced me to okay. write the uh, the post me then okay. I intentionally failed and he knew. Because like I said, I was a brilliant child, mm -hmm. but I wasn't just excited. I mean, mm -hmm. Jambo was 250, 251. Mm -hmm. If I wrote uh, IFED exam, I got uh, uh, 298, you know, mm -hmm. very good results. Yeah. But I intentionally mixed up my subject combination. I wanted a particular school. So I eventually went to the school. Mm -hmm. My father was embarrassed, like, oh, why would you? of all schools to attend. Why would you want to go to this school when, mm. you know, we could as well take you to a private so university a and all. And ev eventually it played out the way I wanted. So while with while waiting for my admission into the university, mm. so I discovered jewelry making. Okay. You know, I, I, like I said, I've always been artistic. So I was bored and I'm restless. I'm, I'm never caught doing nothing. Mm -hmm. I don't like frivolity. Mm -hmm. So I was like, what, do, what can I do, mm. you know, to keep myself busy? So there was this church member who, you know, used to make a lot of uh, things uh, like uh, like arts, like jewelry and all. So yes. I said, okay, I love, okay, let me mention that I have a sister who is a fashion designer. Mm -hmm. So she started business before me. And uh, so it was at a time when um, Bid Embellished Ankara was in vogue, you know, okay. drew by Lisa, okay. Eridapa and all. Those were the designers who uh, spearheaded that yes. uh, revolution in the fashion industry then. So I went there to learn um, bead embroidery. Okay. And then I fell in love with jewelry making. I started mm. making jewelry. Mm. And just like the theme of this show, yes. made to design, I yes. believe I was honestly made to design because in the first week of my training, I was surprised with what I was creating. Mm. So the first piece I created uh, was a magnetic uh, class. I I'd always loved versatility. So anybody who thinks uh, I just started it, uh, I have a lot of versatile pieces, by mm. the way. So anybody who thinks I just started that, no. From inception, I'd been like that. So I created a piece that could be worn around the wrist as okay. a bracelet mm -hmm. and, and then as uh, and different then necklace well. styles. Mm -hmm. You know, my mom doesn't wear jewelry. Okay. We come, <laughs> yeah, really? we, we attend a particular denomination okay. where, you know, it's not strange to, not, not to wear jewelry. Not to wear mm -hmm. jewelry. Mm -hmm. And uh, my parents were ministers. So 
I created this piece. My mom was so wow that she wore it. Mm. She was mm. like I said, I don't have typical Nigerian parents. We we're all excited about it. Everyone gathered around like wow. You know what it had a magnetic uh, accent too. Okay. So the way you just wrap it around your you know, it like self-winding in okay. fact. Okay. You know, so we're all gushing, they were all gushing about it in the living room, then power went out. And we were so carried away, we didn't remember that my father wasn't. Now, I have a father, we are from Ekiti. Okay. So it was all school, 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 academics. <laughs> Do you understand? <laughs> so that was my <laughs> only. <laughs> That was my only concern. That was okay. our only concern. It wasn't just my concern. Like, mm -hmm. would, you, would they let you do this? And it was the kind of, my father was a very responsible man. Mm -hmm. Very, very resp mm -hmm. responsible man. He would never leave a child to fend for himself. So it was the concern, like, would he really want you to do this? Fend for and it was always concern, like, I, I don't want any child of mine. I went to the kind of schools that, you know, today, and it, it paid off. If you can, he lived for us. Mm -hmm. I, you know that's why his debt was painful because this was the time we needed that to needed pay him to back, back. Mm. the enjoyment he was supposed mm. to enjoy he did it for us so mm. what the money should have spent on himself so when mm. i see some irresponsible parents that i just laugh mm. you know it took us it didn't want a situation whereby our pairs were discussing summer vacation mm -hmm. at some locations and then we're looking at them silly he invested in those things mm. At least so once, don't feel we don't feel the friends. Mm. At least, and then he was very circumspect with selecting the kind of schools we attend. He wanted us to, he, he wanted us to build relationships with. Yes. He, he, he went to, uh, he attended King's College, okay. so he knew the okay. benefit of attending okay. King's College. Like, mm. uh, as as a bank executive, he had some of them. It was just a phone call away. Oh, so I mean, you know, the way the parents do it is that I want my children to have a certain pedigree. Exactly. Yes. So it's all about pedigree. Pedigree. Agree. Yes. I was yes. careful not to mention that. So it doesn't <laughs> no, look like let's not pretend about it. <laughs> Everybody is intentional about that. He invested mm -hmm. a lot. Mm -hmm. he invest mm -hmm. So today, many people that I know, many people are wondering, ah, you know, people love blah blah blah. Mm -hmm. it says, well, thanks to my skills and the, the experience I have done in yes. the uh, jewelry industry, but mm -hmm. also thanks to my parents, because yes. some of these people, either my parents, uh, my father's friend, mm -hmm. or my mom's family member, or we went to school together, mm -hmm. you know, so um, that was it. It was a concern for us. So we're all excited that uh, night, and then it came out. My mom was like, she did it. What? Why? Mm -hmm. Why all this uh, ulabalu and all? Mm -hmm. I said, ah, nothing. I heard you. Let me see it. <sighs> my mom was like, oh my God. <laughs> I think Obama <laughs> more years. You understand? <laughs> and I brought it out. He was excited. <laughs> and he gave his blessings instantly because wow. well, if this is what you want to do, no problem. But please, you will go to school. So while I was in school, I was doing business. I became so independent that my father, it was his fight. Let me just, this is so the kind of father I had. Mm -hmm. That you don't ask me for money, for, for mm -hmm. this and that. How are you coping? And doubts and all of that. I'm sure yeah. many parents would want to have to be like you. <laughs> What's, what is the issue? Mm. It was funny. Mm. My son is there like, yeah, crazy. Wow. Your father is dragging the So he won't spend on you. So after a while, he wouldn't ask me. He would just every week, he would just send me a take. I'm like, mm. yeah, just bothering yourself. Use this money to take care of my younger brother. I'll do something. Wow. I mean, as at this time. So your every... business was already thriving. Yeah. Even as far back as when you were in school. In school. So I think that's where I, I, I learned uh, how to I learned how to have a good savings culture because okay. whenever I sent uh, the allowance to me, I would yes. save it somewhere. Mm -hmm. So eventually, I used it for trainings. I used okay. it to get materials. I have always been a fan of experimenting. Mm -hmm. So whenever I wanted to experiment, I won't wait for uh, a customer or that to have money to. Uh, experiment, you know, yes. I took from this savings and I experimented. So wow. I'm known for experimenting. So you the money to develop yourself? Myself. You were... So mm. God bless my father. God bless my mom. Mm. You know, they they, 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 they gave me a very wonderful heritage spiritually. Mm. They covered me spiritually. Mm. My mom still covers me spiritually. You know, sometimes I just laugh. I say, it's not about how well you prove. Mm -hmm. Thanks to to your mom, yes, do you understand? Yes. And you it's know, a foundation is a foundation. You know? <laughs> <laughs> the foundation. 
and and my mom has become uh, an unofficial ambassador. She mm. she's one of uh, the pastors in uh, a redeemed church in New Jersey, okay. and uh, I see a lot of people like your mom is so wonderful. She's so this. She's so that I need to patronize you. Mm. They introduce me to other people. So mm. my mom is like. <laughs> Influencer of so big arts, which salesperson. <laughs> so th that's that's the kind that's the kind of family I'm from, and mm. I'm very grateful, mm. very grateful. Mm. 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 And you create all these exquisite pieces, and yeah. you know that are unique to you. So yeah. you don't go for the ordinary. You know. So what motivates you in your designs? I have the quest to be different. I, I, you know, uh, even as a member of uh, the choir, if I was given a song to score, I don't try to sing it exactly like the singer. Like, I'm not Yolanda Adams. I'm not Marvin Sapp. I'm Benga. Benga. Do you understand? So yeah. I've always had the quest to be different. So mm. I did, and that's what has set me apart. You okay. know, uh, I mean, my slogan is handcrafted, exclusive, elegant. So that is Come again. Handcrafted, hand exclusive, exclusive elegant. elegant. So mm -hmm. that's what has attracted the, the quality of uh, uh, clients that I have at the moment. Okay. Women who want to stand out, men who want to because stand I was out. To ask that, how, how <laughs> <that your> <laughs> Funny enough, we're quite yes. we're not cheap, but we're affordable. Okay, you're not cheap, you're affordable. <laughs> affordable. I like that. Yeah, yeah. compared to well, affordable is relative. It's relative. Yeah, but okay. it's because of my target audience anyway. Okay. So it's okay. affordable for my target audience. You, you this young man, you are intentional <laughs> about everything. Eh? I want, I it's, like... it, it's necessary because I, I, I'm not selling to everybody. Mm. So if you come to me and say, mm. your things are expensive, tell me you can't afford it. Okay. That's that's a different thing, mm -hmm. you know. I, 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 back then, I, there was something I used to say in Pigeon that uh, there's no such thing as expensive. Now your money never rich. <laughs> <laughs> So when when oh, when yeah, yeah, <laughs> so when I'm buying stuff, I'm I'm, I'm very aspirational. So yes. when I want something mm -hmm. and then I can't afford it at the yes. moment, rather than just what many Nigerians do that is very annoying. Mm -hmm. So they go on uh, a calumny campaign against the brand that's too expensive. What are they mm -hmm. doing? Is it not just gold fuel? Is it real gold? Is it this and that? You can't afford it. Keep your mouth shut. Mm -hmm. You know, if you if you're a spiritual, pray that you can afford it. Mm -hmm. If you're ambitious, work to afford it. Okay. So that's where not, I am. Not start not slander. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Right. So yes. that's why I do. I, I I'm very aspirational in all of uh, the things that I do. So uh, those who know me know that in the last six years, I've my creativity has been on an overdrive. Mm -hmm. I've launched a lot of things. I yeah, mean, because I was going to ask that from jewelry, you've evolved into other things. A so lot, a lot has happened uh, after mm -hmm. my father's uh, uh, passing. Yes. Uh, you know, I I opened uh, a lucky studio, an Opebi studio. Wow. After then, I was featured on CNN, I was featured on BBC. So wow. it has been. Uh, I've been on overdrive. And you're featuring on the Now Show. <laughs> <laughs> so so I've been. I've, I've yes. done. I've done stuff mm -hmm. that. Uh, you know, I just want to make him proud. And mm. that informed my, I, I was being at that before. Yes. But after his passing, I started to incorporate his, his name in his name. Well. So and okay. now I'm being at that. So mm -hmm. anybody want, wants to uh, put being at that, no point of correction, being mm -hmm. at that. Because everything so that I do. So they want the son of who you are. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Everything that I do is in, is in honor of him. Okay. So it drives my consciousness mm. in whatever I do. So mm. uh, frugality is key to my brand right now. We mm -hmm. do, after his passing, I started doing advocacy campaigns. So I pick different topics, uh, okay. mostly breast cancer and cerebral palsy. I have okay. a brother who lives with cerebral palsy. Mm. So advocacy campaigns and all of this, all of this, I just want to make and it now proud. they're hearing about you on the Now Show, <laughs> on Channel CB. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. I just want to make him proud. Mm. Well done, Peter. Well Thank done. you. Well done. Where do you see yourself? Five years from now. Mm. This one that you're ready to go back the world. Where do you want to go again? <laughs> so I, I'm not a fan. I'm, I'm an NFA. Mm. I'm not a fan when of you say planning. NFA. <laughs> <laughs> I don't you know, to be sure though. Like, like, like uh, the Bible says that don't worry about tomorrow. Mm. I mean, 2019, 20, 2020, sorry, mm -hmm. as I'm um, proving to us that, you know, you're just wasting your time with, uh, you know, planning about the tomorrow you can't brag about. Mm. You, the tomorrow you, are you don't wasting know. Wasting your time planning about the tomorrow. You're not sure. You cannot brag about. So I live. I live in the that. now, like the show says. Ooh. 
Do you understand? So I don't try to preoccupy myself with thoughts about tomorrow when I've mm. not even done anything today. Because mm. what I do today is what will give birth to tomorrow. Mm. So if mm. I'm not creating any legacy today, there's nothing that will be celebrated tomorrow. So if tomorrow I want, I want to be to celebrated. Come on that again. If you are not creating, creating a, legacy a legacy today, today tomorrow there's nothing, there's to, nothing to celebrate. Wow. So if you are saying, oh tomorrow I want to be featured on this, I want to be in Forbes list and all that. You're mm. so preoccupied with that you're doing nothing mm. today. You're wasting mm. your time. Mm. So this is what I do. Is it that I live a visionless life? No, I no. don't. Mm. I what I do is to seek God's will first and then I pattern my plan after, after God's will, will because God. God's will is sacrosanct it's mm. never changing mm. you know mm. God doesn't change his mind we human beings are such that today we think of something there's a there's a, a there's a policy change and then you tweak the plan God wow. knows the beginning from the ending so his, wow. his will it's eternal mm. do you get my mm. point so uh I seek God's will first and then I create a plan. So last year, people saw me, according to them, balling and they're like, how are you thriving in the midst of the pandemic? Mm. It's because I patterned my plan after God's will. So mm. nothing caught me by surprise. There was an, I had uh, a solution to every problem. I had an answer to every you question. A solution to every problem. Yeah. Mm. So I, I, my mind is so that I'm, um, it's fashion to see possibilities and impossibilities. So when I see a tragedy, I see an opportunity. My father used to say something that uh, when there's a car accident, you know, every other person sees a tragedy, but an insurance man is happy because he sees an opportunity. <laughs> an opportunity for you too. <laughs> you know, so that's the, yes. that's the way we're brought up, to see mm. opportunities. So when my father hates you lamenting, so you are lamenting about the government and what can you do about it mm. in your own little way. So that uh, drove my uh, different um, initiatives like the advocacy campaign, my internship program mm. and all of that, my charity drive and all of that because mm. I'm like, okay, we're talking about the government not doing something. What can we do for our community? Mm. Who is going to bed thanking God for your life? Mm. Do you understand? Because mm. at the end of the day, nobody will remember me for uh, my exploits. Will probably not remember me for my exploits. Will mm. not remember me for the designs I created or how wealthy I, I was in my lifetime. Mm -hmm. What they remember is what I did, the impact, the impact. how I made them feel. Mm. You know, we think of mm. certain names and then we, we just, yeah, you're joyful talking about them like mm. I'm doing about my father. Mm. I remember him and I'm joyful because the man did a lot. So it makes me feel good. It makes yes. me feel proud that that man was my father. Wow, wow, wow. You know, it's so interesting and amazing that at the beginning, I did say we're going to have an interesting conversation. <laughs> Even I wasn't prepared for this. And, I'm, and surely this has been an interesting conversation. If not that we're constrained by time, <laughs> yeah. I'm sure we could go on, on and, and on, on and on. Yeah. So what would be your last word to our viewers something uh, that since i'm representing remember? young adults yes, so i'll do. say <laughs> <laughs> stop minding where and uh, the other person's bread is being buttered mind yours so, I, there's something that is very common to young people mm -hmm. right now and it's um this thing with social media uh, followership and the number of likes mm. so i have friends who have uh, thousands of followers millions of followers on social media and then there was a particular one that was lamenting that our engagement had dropped i said it has dropped what do you mean your videos still get over a hundred thousand views your likes are still in the thousands so what do, what are you talking about i said no before she used to have tens of thousands in likes now she has just like one thousand and something and she was lamenting she was almost getting depressed i said okay so those of us that have just uh <laughs> 50 something thousand followers what do you expect us to do we have uh um uh what's it called likes in uh, in hundreds on the average mm -hmm. just once in a while we we'll get over uh, over a thousand likes and then i spoke to her i said you know what what you're seeing as a problem what you're seeing as insufficient is somebody else's success if i have mm -hmm. half of what you have I'll be happy with myself. So celebrate what you have. Don't be hard on yourself. You're doing well. You're doing fantastic. So be true to yourself. Stop. Wow. It's been an amazing time. So until we come your way again on another episode of The Now Show, I'm your regular host, Apostle Day Ozao Show, signing off.
with Benga Ayodata. Yeah. You're welcome. Don't forget to like this video. And if you haven't, subscribe to the Now Show channel today and hit the notification bell so that you do not miss any video that is uploaded. Thank you for watching.